Welcome back. In this session, we're going to look at The Summer of 69 by Brian Adams. So this was a huge song, obviously a very powerful song. Uh, it just dominated the airwaves. I'm old enough to remember it. It was everywhere, okay? <laughs> you turn on the radio, boom, Summer of 69. With Heaven and with other, the guy had huge hits, right? Uh, in the 80s, 90s. So, now, this song, again, very simple song, and that's why I love a lot of these songs are very simple. So the chord progressions are very simple. This one here is in the key of F major. So F major, it goes F major, C major in the verses, and then in the chorus it goes D minor, C major, F major, and B flat major. So let's have a look at it. It goes like this. I got my first real six string Bought it at the five and dime Played it till my fingers bled Was the summer of 69 So it does that in the verses and then the chorus goes to D minor Oh, when I look back now That summer seemed to last forever And if I had the choice yeah, I'd always wanna be there Those were the best days of my life And it does that riff there And that's pretty much the song So the verses are F, C, back and forth And the chorus is D minor, C major, F major, B flat major We're in the key of F major They're, He's using pretty much most of the chords Except for uh let's see we've got the c the b flat the f major he's using the d minor so there's two missing a minor and g minor they're both in the key of f major okay so we have in the key of f major f major c major b flat major d minor a minor and g minor now the usage of those chords, it could be used and that has been used in countless songs. And you can use it in your song. So it's just basically... What are you gonna do on top of that? Now you can get inspiration from this and this is where, you know, we have the inspired writing technique the favorite mistake technique and the freestyle technique, all of which are in the melody experiment, a little plug here, but um, on my course, that is, this is, these are the techniques we use. Now, when you have a song you love, when you have a song you grew up with, you know, that every time you hear it, it moves you, it takes you back to a place, you can use that inspiration. You can use that passion and that connection that you have with that song to get inspired to write a new song. And that's the whole point of that. You know, it's not to copy anything. It's not to plagiarize. It's not to do any of that. It's to get that inspiration. We don't want to copy anybody. Okay. So you want to grab that inspiration from your favorite artist or your song or whatever and, and go with it in your own direction, but inspired by this thing, which if you didn't have you know, you're starting off dry. And that is the freestyle technique, by the way. The freestyle technique is basically what it is. Freestyle, anything goes. There's no inspiration, there's no background, there's no really even thinking about anything. You pick up your guitar or your instrument, whatever you're playing, and you just go. And whatever happens, that's the freestyle technique. But the inspired writing technique and the favorite mistake technique use a song like this to actually get that inspiration. So, we're in F major, we know our key, we know using our circle of fifths is a very straight up song. It doesn't borrow chords from any other key. A lot of songs do, this one doesn't. Makes things a lot simpler because then we can just look at our circle of fifths and look at the chords we have available to us and take it from there, okay? So, what do we got? First thing we gotta do with both of those techniques which use inspiration from a song is get rid of the lyrics. That's the first thing we gotta do, obviously, right? We're gonna write a new song. There's no summer of 69, there's no none of that, okay? So we're not gonna use or even 
think of any, any of that because two reasons. First of all, obviously, we're going to write new lyrics. But the second reason is also we don't want to continuously come, in, come back to that song. By using the same lyrics all the time, we're going to naturally always gravitate back towards that same melodic line. We don't want to do that. We want a new melodic line. We want a new song. So the first step is to get rid of the lyrics, okay? So we could use na-na-nas, you could hum, you could, you know, use gibberish like I use. I love using gibberish because it also, you know, oftentimes just the stream of consciousness happens and actual words and ideas will pop out of the gibberish that never, almost never happens with na-na-nas or humming. So you're na na naing you know, like this. na 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 na. We're humming. I don't expect anything to come of that lyrically, but if you use gibberish, when on the morning light, everybody's inside a while. Everyone shining on, baby, letting on on the wind all right. Nothing came out of there, but. It can, and it does. Oftentimes, you get actual words, ideas, concepts popping out of gibberish. It's a really great way to write, okay? So, or to actually work out melodic lines because you can actually get lyrics while working on the melodic line, okay? So we'll use uh, gibberish for this one. Um, okay, so let's try it. Let's try the verse. We'll try both. We'll try the verse, we'll try the chorus, okay? with the inspired writing technique. The inspired writing technique is basically keeping the same chord progression, but changing the melodic line. Okay, let's see what we can do. We start off with the same. I'm gonna stay on the same thing. I'm not going to the chorus. I'm gonna stay on the verse, okay? Born on loving in the morning light Sitting out a while, baby Oh, in the morning night I'm barely even on the rain I'm not siding on the rain on my babe Now keep in mind, okay, that's something okay I'm not that happy with it but keep in mind we're in the key of F major we can go wherever we want okay we could try other chords now as well all right we died on the ring. a minors in it I don't like that change let's try that again we died on the way No. Riding on the red eye. Okay, let's try that. We do die riding on the red. See the deed on the red on every day. Just an example of how that could work. So we started off with summer of '69 inspired, feeling it, loving it, and then what happened? Well, you know, we veered off, didn't we? F major, A minor, D minor, C major is a completely different chord progression than the verses and even the chorus, than the whole song. It bears zero resemblance. You put lyrics on top of that, you put production on top of that. <laughs> you know, there's no connection whatsoever and that is the idea that is the point okay we want to go that away we want to start from this direction and you know take a left turn somewhere okay or right turn whichever way you want <laughs> but that's the point that's the whole point of the inspired writing technique and the favorite mistake technique they just go about it in different ways so with the favorite mistake technique we maintain and keep that melodic line initially at least. So we keep that melodic line and change the foundation, change the chord progression. So there's a difference there between those two techniques and you got to just try and see which one works best for the song you've chosen. And that's basically the long and short of it. I hope that helps you guys. It's a great song. It's an amazing chord progression, 
but use it that way. Use it and make it your own. Change it, start off with that inspiration, start off with that passion, but change it. Get away from that and maintain that fire that you felt for your song, your the song that you've chosen, maintain that fire and it will express itself and it will manifest itself in your song as well. Hope that helps you guys. Until next time, take care.